Welcome to Life Happens, where Texans come to protect their legacy and prepare for the second half of life. Join your host, Attorney Kim Hegwood, with Hegwood Law Group and our weekly guest as we navigate the challenges that emerge as life happens. Now here's your host, Kim Hegwood. Good morning and welcome to Life Happens with me, Kim Hegwood, and our very special guest today, Emma Ferguson. And uh, we're going to talk today about something fun. We're going to talk about laughter, yoga, and dementia. So good morning, Ms. Ferguson. It's nice to have you on the show. Glad to be here. Thank you. So I guess the first you know, question that people are probably wondering right now is, what is laughter yoga? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it's a, a unique concept where you actually learn to use intentional laughter uh, without the use of jokes, comedy, or anything external causing the laughter, which is a good thing because I'm a terrible joke teller. <laughs> I forget the punchlines. But it is... Um, something where we use laughter as an exercise and we use um, exercises that are very childlike and playful and we pretend and imagine all kinds of things. And um, it doesn't really matter whether you feel like you're really laughing or just going through the laughter sounds, ho, ho, ha, ha, he, he. Um, Your body responds physiologically with all the wonderful benefits of it. And, but laughter is contagious. And so when it's done with other people and you make eye contact, it, it becomes much easier to have what's called a, a real laugh. And I, I think, um, you know, I'd like to show you an example of that, if that's okay with you. Sure, go right ahead. <laughs> so, because a lot of people say, oh, I can't imagine myself making myself laugh. Well, it's, it's very easy. So if you just put your hand on your belly for a second, and I'm going to ask you to, Breathe into your belly with an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're just going to go. Ah. Let's do that together. Breathe in. Ah. Now this time we're going to breathe in and we're going to smile the whole face and then just go. Ah. Okay, let's do it together. Breathe in. Smile. And. And I'd like for you to make a sound when you do that. <laughs> that feels awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so just, 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 a, you know, but this time we're going to breathe in, smile. And then when we exhale, we're going to go, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Ready? <laughs> breathe in and smile. Smile. And ha, 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 ha. Come on. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it makes you laugh. <laughs> I just keep thinking I feel so silly. <laughs> well, in the beginning with a lot of people, it does feel a little awkward or silly. Um, but silly is actually a good thing because silly comes from, I forget what, maybe German, selig, which means blessed and blissful. So mm-hmm. yay for silly. <laughs> You know, well, sometimes you just have to be silly, you know, so yeah. it just, yeah. you know, it just, you know, you got to. I think as you get older, you have to remember how to be playful. Right. Yeah. And one of the things, you know, people sometimes are turned off by the word yoga, but in laughter yoga, the only yoga part of it is the breathing that we do to get more oxygenation to the body and brain. So you don't need a mat. You can do it in bed. You can do it in a chair. You can do it standing up. Uh, But it is an aerobic activity, just depending on your level of ability with activity so no downward dog poses or (laughs) (laughs) anything like that that's good i'm not that coordinated so (laughs) i appreciate that (laughs) so 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 speaking of that what are the the benefits uh, of this process so i mean because we're talking you know we're not doing a lot of movements with your body so what are the benefits yeah Um, And just to add, this was actually created or coined the first the phrase laughter yoga with Madan Katari, a medical doctor in India, who was researching and wanting to do a blog on laughter is the best best medicine. And he actually found literature to validate that it is uh, very helpful for us physically, mentally, emotionally. So number Mm -hmm. one, uh, I think Baylor College of Medicine a number of years ago um, said that I think it was like 85% of all, all illnesses begin with the body overloaded with stress. 
And so sometimes we're stressed even when we don't know we are because we're breathing shallow or holding our breath and the body interprets that as stress. And so in laughter yoga, the stress levels of cortisol, which is one of the main ones, go down very quickly. Um, and so we have what is being elevated is what I call happy hormones. They're not really called that. But <laughs> dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins, which are very wonderful. I mean, I could talk about each one of them, but uh, you're getting a dose, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endor a dose of medicine, which has many health benefits to it. And of course, I've mentioned the oxygenation. Unfortunately, yeah. 20 to 25 percent of all people need more oxygenation than what they're getting. And so laughter is a prolonged exhale. Ha, 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 ha. You get all the stale stuff out of your lungs so that when you take a breath in, your body has room, your lungs have more room for fresh oxygen in the body. So it's very wonderful at getting that oxygenation. It strengthens the immune system in profound ways. There's actually a study of laughter called gelontology, and it's been going on for a long time. It even sounds funny. <laughs> and now they're even doing uh, research with laughter yoga in particular. Um, so uh, the, the immune system uh, is wonderful. Uh, the Cancer Center of America has laughter yoga. I think MD Anderson has laughter yoga. So many places, of course, they're probably using it for stress reduction and things like that. But it does strengthen your immune system so that you tend to get sick less. Or if you are trying to heal, it helps you get well faster. It also, um, you have something called your lymphatic system, which is part of, I call it your garbage men, <laughs> to take the, the, the waste away. And when you're doing laughter yoga, it increases the lymph um, activity by around 15 to 20 percent, which is actually quite wonderful. Of course, the mood uplifting is is wonderful as well. Um, the circular laughter lights up the whole brain. Uh, it actually stimulates a frequency called gamma frequency, which is connected with long term meditators, uh, but also with greater cognition and memory and greater compassion. Um, Laughter dilates the blood vessels, and so you have greater circulation. It's very heart healthy. Um, it actually helps the blood vessels be less, um, more flexible, I guess you say, might say, so that there's less atherosclerosis and things like that. So um, let's see if there's anything else I've forgotten. <laughs> um, it can help with pain. There's actually women in India, believe it or not, that are having childbirth with laughter. <laughs> uh, I used Lamaze when I was having babies, but um, but it does help with pain relief. I do. I am a senior citizen. I'm 76. <laughs> so I have a, a ankle that has no cartilage in it. And I found that with 20 to 25 minutes of laughter and breathing, the pain goes bye-bye. So it's very wonderful at helping with pain. Uh, it can help normalize blood pressure. So, um, I mean, there's just many, many benefits to it. Perfect. So how does it help with people with dementia? Well, I had a lot of experience with that, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, not personally, but I go to a lot of places where there are, you know, memory care units with all kinds of dementia going on. And so, one of the things that you find is a lot of agitation and anxiety and things like that um, with people, especially when they're coming into a unit with where it's new environment. And so laughter is something that totally helps decreasing. I mean, in, in regular situations, it's helpful with people with mild depression to moderate depression. And so in with, dementia of all sorts, it also helps decrease the anxiety in wonderful kinds of ways. And of course, the stimulation to the brain is excellent. Um, as I said, it lights up the brain. It helps with memory and cognition. Um, but it, one of the things that I, I think also, um, when people have dementia, Alzheimer, all kinds of different types of dementia, um, one of the things that they suffer with a lot is um, pneumonia and lung conditions. And so 
this is something that can help alleviate or diminish that to a large degree. And in many people with dementia, they don't necessarily understand jokes and things like that, comedy, but this is a way for them to bring joy out um, without having to understand a joke or something like that, because their ability to laugh is sustained um, quite a bit. And music, oh my God, music is magic with Alzheimer dementia and all, all, all kinds of dementia. So I use that quite a bit. There's, um, um, and it's an exercise because sometimes they're not getting enough exercise. A lot of times with dementia, you see, uh, I have one lady in one of my sessions that she's always looking down, doesn't want to make eye contact. But as they say, um, the eyes are the window to the soul. And I don't care how much of a squat I need to do to get into their eyes and make eye contact with them. It is magic. And you see them, you, you know, you can feel them and it really helps them. So it's, it's very sad for me to go into a setting and see someone who's been medicated and just kind of slumped over. Um, but laughter yoga is a way to, um, I say, bring them back to life. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. And yeah. so, yeah. so um, you've learned to do this. Right. And uh, we talked earlier before the show started that um, you actually teach other people how to do it, correct? Right. And so, so we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Hold that okay. thought. But okay. what advice would you give, you know, family and caregivers to, you know, as far as, you know, um, asking for it maybe at their facility or having them join something that you're doing? Right. Um, where, where can you find this at so that, you know, if it's something they think their family member would benefit from or, or maybe getting it to where their family members are at? Well, um, I mean, most of the time I'm going to facilities where they're already there. And so it's wonderful when a family member or caregiver is there as well and can kind of see the benefits of it. And so um, I don't know, other than contacting me, I don't have, um, you know, I could train caregivers. Um, it's a two day class with about 12 hours a day to be certified to lead this, you know, so they could maybe gain benefit through that as well. Um, but it's, it's so wonderful. You know, a lot of times with Alzheimer, you see what I call aphasia, which is um, difficulty with speech, um, where some people they're they're speaking, you can understand them but they, it's all jumbled and kind of confused. And other people, there's just not the verbal thing. And a lot of times they have difficulty if I say, you know, pat your head and rub your tummy where we have some difficulty with it, you know, they have even more difficulty with it. And so um, repetitive things. One of the things that we start out most of the laughter yoga sessions with is clapping, which is acupressure. And we go, ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. And then another cheer we do is very good, very good. Yay. And it's interesting to see that even the people that don't even have their eyes open, I'll see their fingers going, hmm, 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 hmm. You know, so repetition of whatever you're doing over and over again is very important. And very simple things like, pretending you're opening the curtain and go ha 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 or pulling the rope down ha 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 they love to do things that they remember and unfortunately i've been in one um care facility that's quite expensive and that i got into trouble for doing row 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 your boat because they said that they would not treat their clients like children well this is not about treating them like children it's it, they're delighted when they remember something. And so we do row, row, row your boat. First we sing it and then we we do ha, 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 and do it with ha's. Then we do it with ho, 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 ho. And then we do a he, 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 he. Um, they love that. The song, um, You Are My Sunshine. It's magic. Everybody's not maybe the vert, the the you know not all the words but they remember and you see them um mouthing the words um when you're smiling is another one that a lot of people so finding songs that they relate to and i mean i don't 
I, I don't use a lot of classical music unless I'm in a setting like that, but I use a lot of 50s, 60s, <laughs> you know, dance and, and get movement. And even in a chair, I'm holding their hands and doing things. So using music, getting their eye, you know, in some classes, someone will say, come on, smile. You don't ever give an order to a person with dementia. You say, you get in their faces and you go, <laughs> um, and, and you get their eye contact and they're more likely to smile. Smiling is actually a superpower. You get in one smile, the same stimulation to the brain as if you just ate 10,000 chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, someone, or someone handed you $25,000. And that is research fact, not me saying it. So one smile, but the smile has to be this and these muscles. So I raise my eyebrows and I, I smile. Uh, so getting, getting, helping them smile, but usually they smile when they're in the activities. And it's amazing how many people eventually... Are, are doing this and ho, ho, ha, 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 because it's been repeated over again and they dance to the music uh, a little bit. Um, so, and they're getting exercise as well. So um, I don't know, is it, do you find that helpful as far as the advice to caregivers? And mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, yeah. And anytime you can participate is wonderful. I, I was with a lady that had attended my laughter yeah. yoga and unfortunately she, now she was in hospice care. And um, I was taken to see her and myself and another lady did a little laughter exercise. And um, and then we did very good, very good. Yeah. And I could see the lady with her mouth going. And it's kind of interesting. That was almost the last word she said, because after that, she went back into sort of a coma like state and died a few le uh, hours later. So, um, I mean, it, it can be extremely imprinting um, on a person and give them great joy. One of the things, I was going through some pictures I had, uh, someone took of me doing laughter yoga in a memory care unit, and I was looking at them, and I was, unfortunately, with dementia, I wish I had one person for each person because it's more of individual work. And it's kind of like you get one person going and then you go to the next person and this one stops. And it, it would be an ideal world if I had two or three people working with me. But I noticed I was working with a balloon with this one person and I could see in the background other people smiling that were in the memory care. So research has actually shown that even if you don't participate in laughter yoga, you get a lot of the benefits of it. And so just seeing another person getting some upliftment, I could see all the people in the memory care in the background smiling like they were getting it as well. So it's, it's wonderful stuff. <laughs> it's very hard to be sad in a room full of smiling faces. Yeah. But the thing is, and I, I want to put this across is, whether you're dealing with dementia or just in a regular situation, the, the connection is important, but you don't have to be happy to do this. This is an exercise. It is a medicine. And so when you're down in the dumps, you're tired, you're angry, um, that's the time to do it, to decrease the stress. It stimulates the parasympathetic, relaxed part of your nervous system. You can tell I was a nurse, <laughs> but um, anyway, it's it's wonderful for everyone. I was with uh, someone in a memory care the other day, and they had balloons. And you know how you tie the balloon? I call it the nipple end of it. And I gave her one to hold, and I gave one to hold. I had to, I was holding one, and we were having like a sword fight. Oh my goodness, the stress and the whatever. I mean, she was like. <laughs> I mean, it didn't scare me, but I thought how wonderful that she was able to get out all that frustration that must have been held inside of her. Because she's one of the people that does not really speak that much, but she does go ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. And she does kind of laugh, even though you can't see much of a smile on her face. Sometimes we even do temper tantrums. <laughs> so, <laughs> or we laugh, ho, 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 
<laughs> you know, so we deal with all kinds of sadness and all kinds of things. It's not just for happy people at all. Yeah, I can appreciate that immensely. So Emma, how does somebody find you? Well, um, I can give a phone number first, which is 281-498-6326. And my email address is one spelled out O N E dot F as in Frank O R C E one dot force at A T T dot net. And I also have, um, I'm, by the way, I have a YouTube channel which isn't on here, it's just under Emma Ferguson Laughter Yoga. And I have about 50 35 minute laughter sessions online that people can follow and i do have a website it's laughteryogauniverse.com so, and i want to add that if anyone is interested in being trained um you don't have to commit to leading other people but if you just want to learn for yourself or to help with a you know a relative or friend that's also wonderful it's a, a it's a fun process Perfect. Thanks so much. This has been great. And so it's, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Oh, and, uh, glad you're here. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you again and you have a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Life Happens with Kim Hegwood. Be sure to tune in every Thursday at 10 a.m. wherever you listen to your podcast as we navigate through the challenges that emerge as life happens. The content of this podcast does not establish an attorney-client relationship or constitute attorney-client privilege, legal, medical, financial, or any other professional advice.